from the fire department that reveals that George Floyd showed no signs of life when paramedics arrived on the scene, certainly adding to the questions here. That's why I'm doing this to you guys. What the... I ain't got part of that shit. I zoomed in. I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit. Those cops will come for you if you're pulling that crap. This guy just came with a hammer and smashed the window. Yeah, you're me. I'm going to fight you right now. You want to you wanna go? Yes, what's up? Somebody hold my blunt. Hey! Somebody hold my blunt. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, everyone. Are One of the trending topics is actually a name. It's Jacob Peterson. And if you're wondering why a person's name is trending, it's because of this. During the riots in Minnesota, around the 3rd District Police Precinct, not too far from there, a man dressed in black was smashing random windows of businesses. So, hey, it looks like, what, a protester. A protester with a gas mask. And as it turns out, someone happened to be watching the video of this protester and this person's face. The person who recognized who he really was, was none other than his ex-girlfriend. How you like those social media apples? His ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend. Think about it. How's that for the Lord, you know? So he was trying to make it look like Protesters were smashing windows. And on top of that, a member of the community was trying to stop him. Okay? Think about it when you get upset because you see images of what you believe are protesters destroying businesses. It might just be a member of the St. Paul Police Department. It may just have been Jacob Peterson trying to make you think that the, quote, other side is bad when there is no other side. But there are a handful of people doing some very big evil things. And Jacob Peterson is one of them. And Dirk, Derek Chauvin is another. Whew. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com. And remember something. Not all police officers are bad. But we have to change the system and get the bad apples out of it as soon as possible. This is what I got to say to the people who are destroying things. If you really feel like you have to take an opportunity, like if you're going to be an opportunistic, something is wrong with you. If you cannot stand up and fight the good fight and you want to be a cheater and go ahead and take what we're trying to do, something is wrong with you. Because what we're trying to do is stand up for the basic rights of humanity. And that's what we're trying to do. And we're trying to do it in a peaceful way. He says, I can't stand back and watch this happen to a great American city, Minneapolis. A total lack of leadership. And then he makes it political. There's looting. People get shot and they die. And if you look at what happened last night and the night before, you see that. It's very common. And that's the way that was meant. And that's the way I think it was supposed to be meant. But I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it originated. I wouldn't know a thing like that. But I will say it's very accurate in the sense that when you do have looting, like you had last night. People often get shot, and they die, and that's not good, and we don't want that to happen.